In this tutorial, I'm going to find the dual of the linear programming problem maximize z, which is equals 3x1 plus 4x2, subject to 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equals to 16, 5x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equals to 20, x1, x2 greater than or equals to 0. The first step to find uh, the dual problem given that uh, linear programming problem is to write uh, the constraints in standard form. And that is to write uh, all constraints as equations with a non-negative right hand side. What we'll be looking at are those two constraints that I've highlighted there. And for the first one, we are having less than or equals to 16. To make it an equation, we would have to add a slack variable S1. When we add the slack variable S1, we would have 2x1 plus 3x2 plus S1 is equals to 16. So the second one, we are having a greater than or equals to. In that case, we would have to subtract a C plus variable S2 and we would have 5x1 plus 2x2 minus S2 is equals to 20. Slack and C plus variables are greater than or equals to 0. We will therefore have S1 and S2 are greater than or equals to 0. So what we are having there now is uh, our primal problem. And we want to find uh, the dual. So what we have to do to find the dual, we define a dual variable for each of uh, the two equations there where we have uh, added uh, the slack variable and the slack surplus variable. So we define for those two equations two dual variables and I'll call the first dual variable y1 for that equation and y2 for the second equation. Our primal problem is a maximization problem and therefore our um, dual will be a minimization. And to get the coefficients of the objective function of the dual, we look at the right hand side of these equations and that right hand side we have a 16 and a 20. So the 16, it will be 16y1, then plus 20y2. Those are the coefficients of uh, the objective function of the dual. And we are saying if we are having a primal, it's a maximization. Our dual will be a minimization. And therefore, we'll have, uh, the objective function for the dual is minimize w is equals to 16y1 plus 20y2. We now go on and look at uh, the variables in the primal there. Both are having variables x1, x2, s1, and s2. I'll start by looking at uh, x1 there. It is a coefficient of 3x1 in the objective function, and in the constraints uh, there, it is a uh, 2x1 and 5x1. The coefficients are 2 and 5. So what we have to do is we look at uh, um, the first one there, the first equation where we have the y1. So we take the coefficient there of x1 is a 2. And we would multiply by the y1, so we'd have 2y1. And then we go on and look at the second equation where we defined the dual variable y2. We multiply by the coefficient there, it's a 5, so it would be plus a 5y2. Now to get the sign of uh, the constraint that we have just written there, 2y1 plus 5y2, we have to look at uh, the table there, which is at the bottom, which says that if the primal variables are greater than or equal to zero, then the dual constraints are greater than or equal to. And if they are less than or equal to zero, then the dual constraints are less than or equal to. In this case, we are having the x1 there is greater than or equal to zero. And if it's greater than or equal to zero, that means I would have our dual constraint to be greater than or equal to. And to check the value, on the right hand side of the dual constraint, we look at the coefficient of x1 in the objective function there is a 3. So we are saying it's greater than or equals to, and it's greater than or equals to that coefficient of the x1. So it will be greater than or equal to 3. We now move on to the next variable, x2. Its coefficient in the objective function is a 4. And on those equations, it is a coefficient 3 and uh, a 2. So what we'll be looking at uh, for the first one there, we we'll would have uh, to look at the y1 multiplied by that coefficient a 3. So we we'll have a 3y1. 
for the second one, we are having the y2 multiplied by the coefficient of the x2 there, it will be plus a 2y2. And uh, the x2 there is greater than or equals to 0. So our dual constraint will be a greater than or equal to. And uh, it will be greater than or equals to the coefficient of x2 in the objective function. So it will be greater than or equals to 4. We now go on to the next primal variable, which is an S1 there. And the coefficient of S1 is a 1. And uh, we are looking at the y1 there. So it will be y1 multiplied by the S1. And then we look at uh, the primal variable there. The S1 is greater than or equal to 0. And therefore, our dual constraint will be a greater than or equal to but it will be greater than or equal to the coefficient of S1 in the objective function. In the objective function, we don't have S1. That means its uh, coefficient there is a zero. So in this case, we'll be having the Y1 is uh, greater than or equal to zero. And then now move on to the next variable that we have is um, S2. The S2 there, its coefficient is a minus one. And when you are looking at uh, the dual variable there, the y2, we'll be saying y2 multiplied by the coefficient of s2, say minus 1. So we'll be having y2 times minus 1. And to find the dual constraint, we'll look at this one, the s2. The s2 is a greater than or equal to 0. If the primal variable is greater than or equal to 0, the dual constraint will be greater than or equal to and uh, it will be greater than or equal to the coefficient of S2 in the objective function. We don't have S2 in the objective function, and therefore its uh, coefficient there is a 0. So in this case, we'll be having minus y2 is uh, greater than or equals to 0. We can multiply that uh, constraint by minus 1, and if you still recall, when you multiply inequalities by a negative sign, it changes the sign. So it will change to y2 less than or equals to 0. So if we multiply by a minus 1 there, it will then give us a y2 less than or equals to 0. So we have now looked at uh, all the variables there which are possible for the primal x1, x2, s1, and s2. So we are done with our dual. So what we are saying is uh, the dual problem is minimize w is equals to 16y1 plus 20y2 subject to 2y1 plus 5y2 greater than or equals to 3, 3y1 plus 2y2 greater than or equals to 4, y1 greater than or equals to 0, y2 less than or equals to 0. So what we are having there on the right is the dual of the primal problem which is on the left there.